All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. This is Part 11, where we had a controversial last episode, where we are now doing Seattle Day 1 as Abby and seeing her side of the story uh, after a really intense scene. Before going back into that flashback, we learnt primary motivations for Abby wanting... Uh, Abby wanting revenge against uh, against Joel, and I guess we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot more of that, and we're gonna get a lot more insight into where Abby's at uh, mentally. Uh, so we can see we see we can see how we're going. Um, apparently, this is you know Joel's death being the first. This is the second controversial, big controversy moment that apparently stands out to people as. Uh, a good drinking game you can play with those maybe later you know a controversial decision to have um us now play as as abby the person that everybody hates because of what she's done i'm uh, i'm on board for the ride i want to see i want to see what's what's coming Again, um, I can see why there would be decisions made where people would be like, oh, well, this sucks, but um, I'm feeling all right at the moment. I've had a, had a couple, of, couple of comments come through um, saying that I should be expecting disappointment and I'll still be upset by the end of it. Uh, again, I do want to reiterate, I appreciate everybody being respectful in the comments by not spoiling anything or going too far into... Anything that's gonna, you know, ruin it. I understand that you're expecting me to be disappointed, but uh, I'm I'm enjoying myself at the moment. And hey, if I get to the end of it and I didn't like what I ended up with as the end result, I'll be I'll be honest about it, and I'll and I'll talk to you guys about how I'm feeling. But right right now, right now I'm feeling I'm feeling alright. I've made it through two of the most controversial moments in the game, and I'm still feeling alright. <laughs> like while I necessarily don't really it's not that i don't want it's not that i don't want to be playing as abby per se it's just that i feel like they took the story to this like climax moment with um you know jesse and tommy being in the situation they're in ellie being held up by abby and then um like okay time to time to go and do Abby's version and go back into the past and so there's a there's a bit of a it's a bit of a bump story wise for it to like it's a bit of a it's a bit of a hiccup that's for sure to just like have it going one particular way and then they'll just like take it all the way back to the start now you know like it almost feels like you know, if they were to do, like, the full Last of Us game where you just play as Ellie and you go through and find out that whole story, and then, I don't know, they did, like, DLC to be like, now you can play Abby's version if you want. But I guess people wouldn't probably buy and play that DLC because they don't like Abby, so they had to make it part of the game. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of, lot of things happening. Uh, a lot of sort of themes and story moments to kind of delve into and dissect and like talk to you guys about um and i think i think that's really important to be able to talk a lot about the events what's happening so you understand where where i'm at like after all this is this is a let's play a blind playthrough where you guys have kind of seen it and i am playing it for the first time so i think you'd probably want to know um my thoughts and ramblings because that seems to be kind of the point of a let's play so i'm going to continue doing that <laughs> because i think that's uh, i think that's important uh, to be able to you know react to stuff not just you know be completely silent is it not it looks like i would go how do i get how do i get out of here that's that's my question. It's popping up. A way out? There we go. It was popping up with a hint, and I was like, it's not just coming up with anything. But there we go. Okay, climb up onto. There, that makes sense. Nothing on there. Let's get out of here. 
Bob said ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. They yeah. are out there. Let's keep moving. It makes me, um... It makes me wonder if, uh, these, these days or events will be shorter. I'm trying- thank you. Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they strung up an entire squad. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many of their kids, it's not their fault. Not our fault either. This is why they keep being at war with each other. Okay. The fireflies, not the fireflies, sorry, the wolves kind of suck. It is very quiet out of here. Keep checking those sight lines. Their attitude towards everything sucks because it's like, you know, and the, the attitude that the scars have sucks. It's just like no one will come together and form a better, uh, you know, It'll be fragmented, but you can't restore society when all of you are just being crazy, be being crazy and merciless with each other. Because that worked out so well last time. Do you have another idea, Manny? Nope. Just venting. Like, you know, they're just like, oh, well, these kids attacked our guys, so obviously we're going to just completely murder them and they deserved it. Mentality, instead of, you know, trying to talk it through. Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. <laughs> up here. Go, Abby. Manny, see what's up there. Oh, right. never mind. Go, Manny. <clears throat> Manny didn't make it to the aquarium, so I'm worried about I'm worried about our boy. Mel and Owen make it, so we don't have to worry about anything happening to them because. Cable's got on something. With the way that the story's gone, we already know that they're going to make it at least to the aquarium <laughs> before uh, Ellie takes them out. Coming up. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. Well? Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave up? I doubt it. You're funny. <laughs> nah. I'm optimistic. <laughs> the scars are madmen. Are we just Ooh. going are we just going straight for the jump? Oh, way down. Yeah, yeah, it is. Alright, we're just we're just going for it then. Okay. Game over. Time paradox. Uh, Jesus Christ. We obviously have to use the rope. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Abby. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. Can we keep doing that? We can, like, take out our uh, disdain and um, for the character by just... <laughs> <laughs> Making her just <laughs> long way down. Oh, whew. is it is it vindicating for us to just be like take out our anger on on Abby by just throwing her down <laughs> by just throwing her oh, by just throwing her down this hole. Here we go. It's so obvious that we have to do the rope. I don't know why I didn't think about the rope. Oh my god. The way that she just falls right into the ground. I was like, this seems like too too big of a drop, but then I was like expecting like a cutscene where the you know, like okay, Abby no. would We're in. I'm at the door. Where Abby would drop down. Uh and like the the floor didn't look very stable, like it looked like this, so I thought it was just gonna collapse and there would be like a story cutscene because that's what usually happens. <laughs> But no, 
the game, the game, um, the game reverted, you know, it's, uh, don't, what's the, what's the word that I'm looking for? It sub, it subverted my expectations, um, and instead gave me a hilarious scene to, to laugh about. Oh, I shouldn't have laughed, but at the same time, that was just immensely hilarious. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I'd be strong enough to jump this distance. <laughs> nope. She dead. She dead now. Okay, come on. Quick. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Wish I had some more ammo, you know. We're a bit, uh, a bit shy. Have we got a workbench here yet? Because we've been picking up so many weapon parts, and it looks like there's got to be one here. This will be locked. Whoa. It's not locked, so never mind. Some kind of boat workshop. Let's remember this place. Man's always on the lookout for spare parts. Just trying to see which way is the way that we're supposed to go, unless we can kind of just roam around a bit in this area. I'm looking for a workbench. Ah, oh, okay. There's no point in opening that gate anyway. There's the workbench, baby. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. We 110 parts, and this is what we have ammo for, so this is what we should be. My dad took me fishing on a boat like this. I got seasick every time, and I hated it. Many don't ever get pregnant. <laughs> Doing my best. I kind of want the. I kind of want the scope. I want to get the scope, but I need to save up another 30. Stability would be alright as well. Fire rate, stability, recoil capacity. Yeah, we don't have ammo for this at the moment, so that's why I'm just primarily focusing on upgrading the... Uh, What's it, what's it called? The semi-auto rifle. Um, cool. I'll, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save the parts that I have, um, for potentially the scope. I think that that would just, uh, probably be more in my best interest. Nice. Uh, just a body bag, just chilling. Uh, let's have a look at our supplements. We got 45 listen mode clarity. I'm assuming that we'll find a manual at some point. The way that this is being set up to, you know, re-upgrade everything and like the the supplements and all the weapon parts and the training manuals and stuff does lead me to believe that I've essentially just entered like a halfway point and like the Abbey's days will not be sort of fast-tracked, like, they'll actually be kind of, um... Ooh... Yes. Um... They'll actually be probably as long as the, the Ellie portion of the game, so that's probably what I've got to look forward to at the moment. Is that just, like, locked, locked with no way in? Looks like it. Unless I find a key. Let's have a look around. And, you know, I, again, to, to talk about it, I'm, I'm intrigued. Intrigued in that I want to see if um, playing as Abby and getting the context of what they've been doing for the past few days uh, while Ellie's been on their trail is, like, you know, is worth it. Like... Did they need, do they need to show this story or like this perspective to us? Um, so I'm, you know, I'm curious, I'm curious to see if it's worth it. 
And again, whatever whatever happens, I'll I'll be honest about it. That's why I was like when I first started playing this game, I was I was uh, almost okay. scared scared to play it just purely based on the controversy. I was like, I don't know if I'll just get like a bunch of hate for enjoying the game or not sharing opinions of um, of oh, the masses. Oh Jesus! Sorry. You do okay? Yeah, crank broke. What now? Abby, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Oh, will it be that door then? So, glad you hitched a ride with us. <sighs> right. Remind me to thank Manny for that one. <laughs> I am glad I'm here with you guys. I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Hey, Mel. Let me boost you up here. See if there's something in that room. Oh. Hey, I thought I missed that for a second. Me. I was like, God damn. I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... Mm. I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm <laughs> not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. All right. Only a monster could do that, Abby. All right, let's lift the pregnant woman up. Okay, here we go. Got it. Ooh, just watching the belly scrape across the uh, the ledge like that. Anything? Like, hey. Um, one sec. What are you doing? Getting us out of here. Okay, just go slow. One advantage of being pregnant. Low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. Oh, she's gonna open that door for us on the other side. Cool. Oh, made it. Any day now. Thank you. Okay. Getting closer to the hatch. Let's see. Okay. Well. It's, it's ladder moving time. We've just got to do the lovely ladder. Let's put it here. How stable do you hey, think this this boat is? Eh? See how we go. We got a rope as well. Um, okay, let's have a look. Reminds me a little of Owen's boat. Is he still trying to fix that thing up? <laughs> yeah. But he says he'll be done any day now. Any day now. <laughs> Everybody's got their nope. obsession. Yeah, like me and dog toys. Yup. And me with my stupid coins. <laughs> I thought it would be this, because this seems like a likely spot for it. But, um, oops. <laughs> I missed There's a it. The catwalk running to the hatch. But how do we get to the catwalk? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. Ooh. Let's have a look in here first. Oh, there's our training manual. I'm going to read something like this. David vs. Goliath, the comprehensive history of guerrilla warfare. All right, all right. Covert Ops. Stealth, baby. Oh, we got shivs. Craft shivs. Craft two shivs, which allow for instant stealth kills against most enemies. We're back to being a Joel-type character. We got shivs instead of uh, the pocket knife. Grab enemy movement speed, faster prone movement, craft more shivs. All right, well, we'll do that. Cool. And we've got some pistol ammo, finally, but, I mean, it's not a lot. 
But we'll make do, I guess. Uh, health is appreciated. Yep. Cool. And nothing else. Alright, let's figure out what we've got to do with this rope. So we've got to get to... We've got to get to the catwalk to then get to the hatch. Like, I don't... Hmm. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Why can't I? Uh, I've broken the rope. I've broken it. Oh, I can do it from there. Now what? We've got that rope here. Oh, so I just throw it over this. Okay. Well. See, that seemed closer, and then it didn't make it across, so I'm assuming that's just because it wasn't supposed to go there, so then it just automatically comes back to me. But there you go. Alright then. Okay, that's promising. But now I have to get... there. Do I just make a... I don't think I could make a jump. Do I just have to make a jump for it? Is that is that what we're getting at here? Oh, actually, hold on. This could be what we need. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Kind of forgot about the ladder for a second. Just having a not very smart moment. Cool. See how Mel goes with climbing up the climbing up the rope. Long way down. Speedy, apparently. Vertigo hitting you hard, especially when I look down. Look! Don't look down, Abby. Up! Don't fall to your death, Abby. Up! Is that her getting stressed? I think it is. It's a neat detail. Oh! <laughs> Don't want me to just accidentally drop you down there again. <laughs> because we don't like you. I don't like you either. Alright, let's there have a look. Are. Manny, be right down. Okay. Look, Bob, sweet Bob. Almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Oh, please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. I'd be too freaked out about fucking it up. <laughs> you think I don't feel the same way? Well, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. He did? Well, he always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Cool. They're getting along, guys. The characters that we don't necessarily care much about right now are getting along. How exciting. I think probably a, a, a main struggle that people would have having to then play as Abby um, and then play with like these other characters like Mel and... Manny and Owen and all the wolves and stuff is because you've gone the whole game so far seeing them as the antagonists and the bad guys and then they're making you play as them to make them I guess just show them as people who are just trying to survive the same as how Joel's group was just trying to survive and they've also done some pretty dark stuff especially Joel but it's it's hard storytelling wise to to make us care about these people after all of what we've gone through so far on this like be like going on this trip to revenge with ellie and then it's like oh now let's now let's care about mel and stuff you know what i mean like i think manny's kind of cool but also he spat on joel's <laughs> corpse <laughs> and told him to burn in hell so you know 
It's hard to. We're almost to the fob. Man, it's hard to put that aside sometimes. I'm gonna find a couch, watch a movie, and drink until I pass out. Especially since we know what's going to happen to Mel, and we can only assume what's going to happen to Manny, and we know what's going to happen to Owen, it's like, there's no sort of, there's no tension now of, oh man, we've got this pregnant woman, hopefully she makes it out of here. Which drink? Which movie? <laughs> Strong questions. Movie's the one with, como se llama? The girl who rides the wolf. Oh, I love that one. And drink. My mezcal from the party last week. Excuse me? You mean our mezcal? Uh, save, save, save. I'll save some for you. Oh, I could definitely go for a drink right now. If I wasn't so pregnant. <laughs> Run. <laughs> he's gonna watch, um, he's gonna watch Princess Mononoke, baby, because he's a weeb. He's gonna have anime and chill on his own. We, this is why we love, this is why we love Manny, but also kind of hate him. Um, Abby's got her coin collecting in classic literature, I guess. And Mel's got a baby in her belly. So yeah, let's see, let's see how we go and if this game can make me care about, like, characters like Mel and Owen specifically, where I just don't. Um, and, and see how that goes. Because, yeah, there's there's no tension of, like, there's no... Oh, Mel's balancing on that beam. Hopefully she doesn't fall or hope nothing happens to the baby. You know, all that kind of stuff. Because we know that she just meets her end uh, because Ellie got a little too carried away. You know? Meanwhile, uh, where it has the situation, like, with, with Jesse. Um, with Jesse and stuff. I did not expect uh, what happened to happen, um, and it was it was shocking to have shocking to have Jesse just kind of run out and then immediately face his end, you know. I'm trying. I'm wondering if Abby's going to be able to climb up here if I break this glass. Yes, cool. I just didn't want to risk it. And waste my throwing item. Mint condition. Indiana. Nice. We've got coins. We haven't come across. Oh, never mind. I was literally about to say we haven't come across any documents in a while. Okay, interesting. Marta, with a truce dead, it's too risky to keep using this place for meetups. Scars are going to be swarming all over the, this area like roaches. I went ahead and cleaned out my supplies already, but I left all your guns in the lockup in case you need them when you arrive. Figure the scars won't touch them since the safe is too old world for them, dumb freak. See you soon. Be careful, Paul. Still using the big win as the combination. The big win. Any information surrounding the big win? 1738.07. Cool. I can't take that with me naturally, so I'm going to have to remember that one. So what was it? 1738.07. I like the sound of that. It is right here. Seventeen thirty-eight oh seven. Cool stuff. The big win, baby. Here we go. Oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> I like all of this. Yo. All right, you gun. Hunting pistol. Man, they're really they're really putting that limited ammo in our brains. They're like, you know, here's a here's a safe filled with ammo, but even then, it's like mm, not that much. 
So a hunting pistol just gives you one one round per shot. Oh. You know what's upsetting about this? Is I wasted like scissors and duct tape crafting this thing that only gives me like three shots and I could have gone for the wrench. And the scissors I wasted could have gone towards crafting shivs. Oh, that's a shame. That's a big old, that's a big old shame right there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll try and remember. I'll try and remember that there is um, a weapon there if I need to, if I need to go back for it, right? I'm going to try and, I'm going to keep the weapon that I used the, my items for so I can get use out of it. It's got a nice blade. It should be a nice insta kill. Oh, never mind. Guys, down this way. We're dropping down, so I'm going to have to leave that wrench behind. I will get another melee weapon. It's okay. Down we go. Okay. We'll follow the tracks. That'll get us back on the main road to the fog. I don't like this. I know. Keep your eyes open. We're gonna get ambushed wall. by the scars, oh, baby. Oh! Shh. Quiet. There comes more of them. There they are. We don't have any silences, so we, the only option we have is to either go loud uh, or to stealth them without gunfire. I've got no decent listen mode. But they were straight ahead. Yeah. They can see very far, but I guess so can I, technically, because I already caught them from ages ago. Well, there's another melee weapon opportunity. Okay, we're getting closer and closer to... Okay. I don't have a throwing item either, I'm gonna have to kind of, um... Almost wing it. Alright, one, two, three? Is that how many we're looking at? I wish I could kind of like grab him from underneath as like a stealth option. Oh shit. Oh. The pain reaction from that person though. See ya. The, like the react the pain in that dude's face when I shot him in the leg so many good melee weapons Oh, there's a few of them, isn't there? Hear that? We got them! Right over here! Out of here. Find them, damn it. 
I'm not putting a shiv in a human. We never put shivs in humans, we choke them out. Shivs go into clickers only. Hello, sir. Good night. Sweet dreams. The facial animations there are absolutely incredible, by the way. Still, like, still thinking about the dude that I shot in the leg, how, like, his visceral reaction. Oh, that's a good shot. I'm feeling that one. Is it just that one? That's the question. Because we might be able to get away with uh, just having a... Just checking everything else around here before we, um, before we go down there. So what happens when you check all the train cars out of order? Just it's like, well, which ones have stuff in them and which one don't? Got an axe in there. Thank you. Mel being smart and keeping all the way back. I think like, you know, probably the thing that's keeping me going the most <laughs> playing this right now is that I'm still having a great time gameplay wise. The gameplay is always, um, always, always good. In Last of Us. Alright, we're gonna have to sneak up and get to this person. Got him. See you later. I think at the moment, like, it's like you've got the scars, which just seem completely fucked up and evil and cultish. And then you've got the wolves that are like. The wolves go to some extreme lengths to do stuff, and they're kind of assholes. and they also had their vendetta- uh, there was a group of them at least that had their vendetta against Joel because of the Firefly situation. But the wolves as a whole, we haven't really seen how shitty they are, because we're kind of focusing on this one particular group of the wolves that are- have it, had it out against Joel. And then you've got like, the Jackson group, so you've got like Tommy's, Maria's, um, you know, whole group, whatever. Which are, you know, more, a bit more focused on doing their patrols, having a nice little community. It, it, it's like they've, Tommy and Joel's, like all of that group, have already done their dark deeds. Dead end. You know, okay. they've had their they've had their dark moments and things that they've done in the past, and now they're like we're focusing on like rebuilding and like having that community like even like you know complete strangers like rescuing Abby was like hey you guys are welcome to come to our camp and join us whatever um, but it's like this group 
they're they're focused on doing their dark deeds at the moment and be, like being in the in the thick of it. So these guys would not have fit in with uh, with the Jackson group whatsoever. Look, sometimes sometimes more is not merrier. Puta madre. They're close. All right, we got more. God damn it. Hold this. Get inside. I'm running. I'm running out of ammo. Dude, we have nothing. I wasted a pipe bomb. Ooh. You won't get me, you psychos! I'm not wasting any more ammo. You rescued, baby. I love you guys. I'm gonna name all my children after you. Ready? Let me see if I get some. Let me see if I can get some ammo. Heard all the shooting. Dude, with with. We have nothing. I wasted a pipe bomb as well. I'm really feeling the feeling the effects of uh, limited resources here, <laughs> and the uh, and the uh, the lack of ammo that comes with it. <laughs> yeah. I saw this guy like get up and then get shot immediately. How how cool is that as a detail, right? Like you see this guy get up and then he's like he gets shot, but it's like he's supposed to cuz look he's like reacting to it. It's not like when you just see an NPC get shot and like then they're fine. Hey team. All right, we're going in with the guy so we can have his story reaction to him getting shot in the hand. Let me see your hand. Mail the medic, baby. We're in. All right. Saved by the wolves. That's how we get to the fob, I guess. Completely outnumbered with barely any ammo, you know? Okay. 
I do gotta say, Abby's uh, facial capture, uh, mo the motion capture is absolutely top notch for, for Abby's face, like, and that's been consistent through the whole game, by the way. Like, her facial animation has been insanely good. Hey, who we got here? Hey, come on, girl. This is Alice. Come on, Alice. Good girl. Thank you. These new recruits, I don't trust them. Thanks again, guys. Interesting that he would like state this though, that he's like, oh, I don't trust these guys. Are these gonna be like wolf? Uh, are these gonna be like wolf deserters? Now I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not a writer. I'm not an expert, you know. But as a consumer of product and a person who actually really loves storytelling and and writing and characterization and you know, good stories, good characters, what's you know, etc. etc. Wouldn't it have been really cool? as a twist, like, to approach this story, to have us play, um, both as Ellie and Abby almost concurrently, where we actually build this strong relationship and kinship with, like, these, this wolf, like, the wolf group, because the Jackson group don't really know anything about them, they're not associated with them, as, you know, Ellie investigates and figures it all out, like, what if, you had sort of that approach where you've got Ellie and her group and Jackson like doing some stuff. Like you could probably set the game, you could set the game back like a period in time, like six months and play as like Ellie and Abby leading up to the events at the beginning of The Last of Us 2. And then you, by this point, you've actually really grown to like these characters on the wolves. They've made them quite likable. You're like, Manny's great. Um, Abby's an interesting character. Cause like you, you give, you get these reasons to like them without that preconceived notion of what Abby and this group have done already. And then you really like these characters. Like you, you've, you've formed attachments to them because they've given you that expert storytelling similar to the first game when they, you know, they give you Ellie and Joel and they have this ama these amazing characters and dynamics where you really like these characters. And then you get to like a climactic moment where Abby has been actually hunting Joel this whole time. Like we never get like the name drop or anything until we realize that like you, we get to like that flat, that scene where you play as Abby and Owen going through the snow at the beginning of the game and like, oh, he could be here. So you're like, oh, wait a minute. These, we've been playing as opposite sides of the story um, and not knowing why we're just being given like a new group, a new perspective. But then we're, tr we're revealed to that twist that yeah, we get that reveal that like they've been hunting a particular person in that group then you find out it's joel and then you get completely torn and conflicted on your emotions because these characters that you've grown to love throughout the course of the game have committed this act against a fan favorite character it's like it's just another approach like they, they could have approached and gone about this game this story the last of us in general in so many different ways but i just had that thought while we were like getting into that car and doing that cutscene. scene i was like man imagine if we had the, the the opportunity to start on a clean slate with these characters and actually get to know them get to love them and then have to wrestle with our feelings of fuck man like these these people are just surviving like anyone else they had their own personal like ideas of revenge that led them to doing joel but like they're just trying to get by it like but because we because we've had the situation where abby has already done what she's done like very early into the game um that's kind of cemented how we feel about this group and these people uh in general you know what i mean if you know what I mean. Hey, I'm I'm ram I'm out? rambling a bit. Uh, almost. Give me another week. I'm at the end. Shit's getting good. One week. <laughs> Thanks. She likes her reading. Um yeah, just just a ramble, but like an I an idea of like another way that they could have uh executed it. 
um, could just be, yeah, that, that build up. You build that rapport, we love the characters, and then we have to wrestle with the fact that they've killed a fan favourite, our lovely Joel from the first game. And then, the story is that massive that then we continue and then we play it this way, that we do Ellie's Revenge and then Abby's perspective. Just make it a huge game. Massive game. No assignment. Just says report to Isaac. Both of us? Yeah. Just make it a massive story-based cinematic experience that takes 25,000 years to develop and then we finally get it. We should make sure Mel's okay first. Hey, Abby. Isaac back there? No, just Carl training the fresh meat. Okay, thanks. <laughs> the fresh meat who are gonna betray us. There's a lot of people here too. Um, yeah, I guess like as an alternative, like even without, you know, setting the game so far back, maybe another idea would just be able to maybe spend a little more time. Hey, man. Like spend a little more time with this group. Yeah, like spending a little more time with the group and like getting to know them and developing with them um, instead of instead of what happened you know um, because we got a flashback and then we got an, a second flashback where we get saved not a flashback but like a we got the situation where we played as Abby with Owen to suss out the base and then we played with uh, Abby then running away and getting saved by Joel and Tommy. And I don't think that that was enough to really establish those characters and get to know them and form feelings or attachments about them. It's more... It was more confusing. Because you're like, well, what's the deal with these guys? Why are we playing as them? Uh, and then you shortly, <laughs> quite quickly, get your uh, get your answer, essentially. Of, uh, of why you're playing as that character, because you're just seeing that they're after, after Joel. When I'm, when I'm very, uh... Thanks. Um, you seen Isaac anywhere? <laughs> nah. With all this commotion, I'd be hiding too. And also, just for just for context, like when I get passionate about something and I'm really uh, invested, when I'm really invested and into something, I want to talk about it a lot because it, like, why wouldn't I? Yeah, heard about your ambush. Where'd they hit you? Uh, right around here, near the warehouses. Oh, shit, they keep slipping past our lines. Hey, you know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. Yeah, if I'm really into something and really, like, in, engaged and involved with it, like, you'll hear me talk about it and be quite passionate about it a lot. Um, compared to, you know, if I'm just kind of going along for the ride, not particularly feeling it, or, you know, I'm not, it's not, like, blowing my mind, then you won't have me talking about, talking about it as much. You'll just have me engaged with the, the content that's happening in front of me. I won't be, like, sort of in-depth analyzing it or trying to figure it out like that like i tend to be more engaged when we're going into like silent hill stuff and like trying to figure all of that out or like metal gear solid and like last of us so hey, that us. that kind of stuff Hang in there, girl. we're gonna get you out of here soon Ooh, i'm most upset about the fact that the the only character out of this group that i've attached myself to is the dog alice because I know what Ellie did to Alice. Was that... It didn't pop up with an optional dialogue thing. I thought it was going to. So this is why Manny says that he's not trusting anybody. It's the only, only character wearing... Only character wearing a mask. Oh no! This is the character that Ellie. <laughs> this is the character that Ellie killed that was playing um, Hotline Miami. Hey, hey, Whitney. Oh, hey, Abby. What's up? You know what's going on around here? 
I wish. All I know is they're sending some of us to the hospital. It's a fire run. Oh, exciting. I know, right? That game good? Really hard. Oh, really good. That's some great tunes, too. Don't let me stop you. See you around. <laughs> See you around when you get accidentally murdered. I guess that's where we're going in. That's really interesting, though, like, the fact that, uh, like, 2013, 2025 years later, um, and they're fucking, <laughs> they're still playing the PS Vita. Looks pretty bad, huh, Doc? I've seen worse. Hold still. Yeah. Got stabbed in the foot by a scar. She thought he was dead, but... Hey, man. Feeling better? Uh, pain meds are kicking in, so... Yeah. Hang in there. How's the hand? I'm gonna keep most of my fingers. Brother, you only need three. Am I right? Two. <laughs> was that a, um... Was that a this joke? Was that really a that joke? You gotta be kidding me if that was a if that was a this joke, unless that's just where my brain's going. <laughs> Manny, you fucking Manny's so funny. That's how I'm gonna choose to interpret that comment about only needing three fingers. Speak of the devil. Hmm. Hey guys. There she is. Just a few more. She called him Melon. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Hey, Mel. Relax. You got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Sure. Don't move. I'll just be here. Relaxing. Nora, have you had a chance to relax? Ugh. I'm shipping out to the Westside Hospital in a few. Or desire to get everything. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. So now we're chilling with Nora, who also had a very gruesome end. Baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. He'll want to be here for her. Yeah. I need to show you guys something. What is it? Follow me. Ooh, we're gonna get. Oh, okay. We're in body bag town. Oh yeah. Are these all ours? Yeah. And we're coming in by the hour. Jesus Christ. That's a. Uh, this is a grim scene. You all ever tell no, all right? Nora. You all ever heard of uh You all ever heard of uh, cremation? Oh no, who's this? <gasps> Who is it? Who's in that body bag? Holy shit. It's Danny. Where's Owen? I don't know. A few days back, there were some scar sightings out by the marina. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed by the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Pinches scars, hijos de puta! Isaac talked with him until he passed, but as far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. So what about Owen? Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look, and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. This is why Abby leaves. There you go. Oh, big boy. I'm sure he's fine. Abby's gonna go after him. 
Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. I love that our assignment is to meet with Isaac, but he's making it so hard to see him. I don't know what you guys find out. Yeah. And they're like, ah, oh, go meet up with Isaac. It's like, where is he? I don't know, man. Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent out a search party for Owen? Maybe he has and just didn't tell Nora. I fucking hope so. Okay, we're just on the other side of the gate and the other side of that group. Cool. Hello, sir. Let me in, please. We're looking for Isaac. He's inside. Go in. Thank you. Damn, look who it is. Sup, fellas? Got time for a game? Uh, can't. Here for Isaac. Whatever, big shot. Not my fault I'm so good at what I do. Mm hmm. See you around. <laughs> Coins, baby. South Carolina. Also, I have no idea what accents. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what accents apply to any part of um, the United States. I uh, so that's that's my South Carolina accent. South Carolina. How how'd I do? <laughs> Terribly, probably. Documento. Let's have a look. Sergeant Foster. Isaac. Took three days. But I finally got something out of number 74. If what he's saying is true, sounds like the southern shore might be our best bet. I've marked up a map and left it in your suite. We should send scouts to verify as soon as possible. I still feel like he might be holding out. Give me a few more days with him. Sergeant Foster. Number 74. Are they taking, uh, are they taking SCAR prisoners and just numbering them? Yep. I don't miss this place. Yep. They're taking They're taking scar prisoners and interrogating them. After our morning. I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Who were just like moaning prayers to themselves. Well, that's fucking grim. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That happened. Me being like, oh yeah, the wolves are just in their period of doing their dark deeds. Like this. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, humanity <laughs> in The Last of Us is uh, uh, very bad. And this is why, again, this is why Joel saved Ellie. Because <laughs> he's like, yeah, sure, make a vaccine, you can cure people. But, like, he knows what's... He knows what's become of uh, humanity because he's at to, he's been there himself. He doesn't see a way back from that to getting to like pre pan pre apocalypse pandemic normalcy. Hey Abby, we need to go up. Isaac's in there. Oh, do you know if he'll be long? Said so again when you two arrive. Well, all right. He's uh, he's in the middle of an interrogation, I guess. This is going to be nice. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Jesus Christ, okay. Don't let him fall asleep. Yes, sir. Let's go up. Isaac's doing it himself, man. He's doing the dirty work. Well, there goes my opportunity to sympathize 
<laughs> With the wolves. No losses on our side. Just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Wish I was hearing more of that. Never seen the base this packed. We'll give it another day. Still waiting on some units. Jesus Christ. What is this army? These small skirmishes. Can't keep going like this. Then Dude. What? Isaac is unhinged, man. I can just Try feel it. The truce. But how long before some asshole on their side or our side unravels the whole thing? God, this looks gorgeous, This how this scene is put together. Lighting. It has to be all of them. Sir, we try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. They're gonna go all out. Big storm, a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are gonna lead the first wave. Jesus, okay. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? Who talked, Nora? No secrets between the Salt Lake crew, huh? Is Owen okay? As far as I know. Then why ain't you sent a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse what? me. That's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me? Sir, people hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him. They'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after him. I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the no. bottom. No. You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. We've only got one shot at this. <sighs> and this is bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. Okay, maybe he's not so much unhinged, but he's, uh, fucking cold and calculated instead. <laughs> If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah. This makes it so obvious why Abby runs away. Yeah. I get it. Look over the plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. We'll talk later. No way a wing killed Danny over some scar, right? There must have been some scar. What? No. Abby, don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? There's the first will. go. The aquarium, baby. Right there. That's nearby. It's not far away. <laughs> Stop me. Aww. Three years earlier. I'm kill you. <laughs> what? Seriously, stop it. <laughs> All right. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> come on. We made it all the way up here just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes, the deal was to get up here, so. Mm. Scared of heights. All right, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get your ass over here, sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat, 
And look at this view with me. We can't miss training. Really? Not even just for one night? No. <laughs> Can't talk about it? It's getting late. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Don't, do not, it is too high. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. You know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious, I will break up with you. Owen. I always love you. Don't! Owen! Jesus Christ. You jumped? And I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. have to go back. We will, once you see this. These people are just starting to warm up to us. You keep showing up late to everything, it'll seem, it'll seem disrespectful. They know what we've been through. We got at least like two more months of sympathy before we have to go full war. <laughs> Owen. What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe, I don't wanna find out. Think of it like this, then. We're on patrol. We'll just tell them we ran into some infected. There's so... Owen... Oh, just come see this thing. Take a deep breath. Oh, okay. Oh. We're on this way. How did he find this... Time. How did he? How did he get here with enough time? Abby like jumped immediately. Ah, oh, the aquarium. What is this place? I don't know. You gonna keep going? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's still fish alive three years earlier. Apparently. I don't even want to think about how wrecked that bag is. <laughs> Whatever you had in there is gone. It ain't airtight. This is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos, but for fish. Shut up. Check this water pup out. I saw the seal the other day covered in spots they don't have spots they're brown those are sea lions no no you don't know I know what I saw with my eyes interesting so Abby knows that Owen will be going to the aquarium straight away and then that's when she makes her journey and she's like i'll be back by morning even though i'm pretty sure it ends up being seattle day three when that happens so it does not take morning because she's gonna run into some uh, she's gonna run into some complications all right Are you coming Are you just staring at the staring at the sea sea lion interesting Going on a date to the aquarium. Hey, give me a hand with this. Yep. She she ain't as strong yet. <laughs> she gets real buff in three years. What is 
this place? Well, clearly mm. this is some sort of theater, but for uh, fish. <laughs> Are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's my wolf power. You're an idiot. Yeah, but you love this idiot. So, I mean, what's that say about you? <laughs> what it says is that you're gonna break up show? and get Mel no, pregnant on today. Makeshift dock or something. You wanna check it out? Somebody turned it into a makeshift dock. Does that mean we're not alone? some kids clothes bet a family came through look at these drawings I wonder what happened to him Maybe there's the faces way. though yeah, well, got killed by <laughs> look at that dude on the left such an optimist mm. oh my god they really just were like hey we need to make it look like a kid's drawing <laughs> I mean, they certainly achieved that, but that's terrifying. The teeth and the eyes, my god. Alright, we're just inspecting kids' drawings? Is, is that what we're doing? He just keeps switching from, like, drawing to drawing. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Is it because I need to do something? Do I just leave? Why is he just inspecting kids' drawings for? All right. Enough of this boat. Just like pick one down. The rest of the fish zoo? Put it back up. You think there's pick more one down. Zoo? Put it back up. Let's go. Are you going this way? <laughs> or are we diving underwater? Across this way, maybe? Where are we going? Where are we going, Owen? I'm following your lead. Do I have to dive underwater? What are you doing? You gonna give me an animal show? Um, do I look like a spotted seal? Oh, uh -huh, that way. Had spots. <laughs> well, at least Owen did go the correct way. I don't think we have. Uh, I don't think we have any inventory. It can't. Abby can't decide whether she wants to walk or run. It's frustrating. Ready. Let's let's continue. Think you can get through that. Get me up there. Yep. Here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at you. I pushed 185 pounds yesterday. Yeah, right. So... We take a quick look around and then... We head right back. Uh-huh. Except that this is nothing and you're gonna beg me to stay. Not happening. Just wait. Any fish in there? Long dead. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. You don't see that every day. Doesn't have the, doesn't have the same impact as the giraffe scene from the first game, because uh, these aren't living whales. I got, I kind of got the uh, the giraffe scene vibes from um, the zebra scene in the flashback with Abby, 
last episode, but there was a lot of dialogue, so I didn't get a chance to mention it. But yeah, having having the having the zebra with the the baby together after being reunited was like a bit of a, a bit of a giraffe related scene, and then this one kind of gives off the same mentality, except you know not living. Hey, Owen, no spots. Look at that. Well, the one I saw wasn't bronze either, so. Um, that probably goes to the next part of the aquarium, so we'll investigate this area. Photo center. <laughs> nice. I'm claiming this place. It's mine. You can visit. Oh, you sure? Not really, actually. See how nice you are to me first. Mm, you're a dick. Not a great start. It's a tank in the floor. Oh, there is fish. Can you imagine this place filled with people? Kids laughing, running around. And my dad would love this place. Yeah. He loses a shit over it. Yeah. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know I don't blame you. Those Seraphites are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sail away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you both to know I love you. Ricky, keep waiting out for Max. Watching out for Max. You owe him that. <sighs> Interesting. So the kids from that boat left to join the Seraphites. That's uh, also kind of grim. Yeah. I think it's the same family from the boat. That'd be my guess, yeah. Max's place. All right, let me check upstairs before I go through there, because I think we're going to get into some unfortunate, tragic family story. We have to come back here with the others. That's good, yeah. Get them to break the rules, too. You don't think it's worth it? <laughs> Let's see how much trouble we're in when we get back. Huh. You love it. Mmm. <laughs> Shut up. So, could I get, like, a... Uh, Owen, you were right. Thanks for dragging me into this amazing place. I'll think about it. Let me make a decision. I'll check here first, because maybe this isn't the way to go. Um, I'll create a new save game. So in case uh, I miss one room, and this one is like a one-way trip, then I'll be able to check the other one out. Never mind, it's locked. Okay, in that case, I saved it anyway, which I kind of needed to. But we'll just go up here. So I guess we need to drop down into Max's place somehow. See where we're at. Someone's living here. Oh. Oh God. Jesus. I guess that was the the dad who couldn't find the uh, the antibiotics and who died here while the kids the kids ran off I suppose I'll read that document in a second interesting now let me just read it now I think this is our boat, Captain. Shit. 
He's got a Scars logo on the bottom. Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed Mum, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want, when they're willing to make something of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do, I hope you're not still sitting in your stupid fucking chair. His kids are enough to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. And he died in that chair. On the bright side, I found these keys. <sighs> What is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. <sighs> I just don't understand how anybody willingly joins the Scars. Why not? Because they're an insane cult. That's why. Well, in the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. That's true. Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. Yeah, we're going to get... Um, I think we're going to get some interesting context or some revelations about the seraphites where on the outside we're like eh, they're crazy religious cult fanatics but maybe we might get something something else considering the fact that um yeah he makes a good point about the fireflies were kind of uh handled the same way from from the outside like the military dudes were like well the fireflies are terrorists um, so I think if Owen has, I think if Owen has shot Danny to protect a Seraphite, to protect the Scars member, there's got to be a good reason for doing so, you know? Let's see if we can find that out. It's honorable that you respect your father, but you have to see he's trying to control you to make you feel like you're still a child because he's too afraid to act like a man. You deserve to be surrounded by a community that can foster a strong spirit like yours. Max, even more so. He's so impressionable. If you care about your brother, you'll get him out of there before before he takes on your father's weakness. We'll be passing by your aquarium again in five days. If you want to join us, light a torch along the dock and we'll pull you in nearby. May she guide you. God damn. They got like abducted into the abducted into the the cult, and then he died where he the dad died where he was sitting because, it, like I guess they're going like you have to be strong. The seraph he said is easily impressionable, but like the scars definitely manipulated them into joining because they're like oh your father's weak, and all he all he wanted was to just have some safety and security for his children away from the the chaos that is the outside world because you could tell that the father was kind of attached or had like one foot in the past still you know to like be like i want you to grow up and have like this nice childhood but the concept of that is kind of gone now because you kind of have to to, to survive or live in this world you can't just hide out in an aquarium and scavenge for food you have to know how to defend yourself against both infected and humans alike, unfortunately. Which is why having children during these times is not recommended. But let's open up Max's place and see what happened here. Wanna try those keys? Oh, yeah. This one? Nope. Out. Got it. Damn. Painting this must have taken forever. <laughs> Max was a nice little artiste. down there come on Owen <laughs> last thing letter time I promise last thing <sighs> just 
just uh, don't look down. Oh, just go. <laughs> You're good. Sure hope not. Damn, what if the it's the kids important. excellent craftsmanship? What if the kids that oh. they killed Get that they were here. talking about before were these kids? What if it was these ones? I know it's like just because it mentions kids that it could be anyone, but at the same time it seems like they could be making a point of it, you know? This would be so nice to just sit and chill in, though. Ooh. There's our giraffe moment. How are you still... How are you still here, buddy? He's got spots on and everything. You see that? I told you they were spotted. How's he still alive? What's he eating on? Just the seagrass? <laughs> Because he's a sea cow. And now they're going to make out because it's romantic. Guys, you're ruining the cute moment with the with the sea lion. Can we can we get back to the Can we get back to the the, the cute sea lion, please? You want me to slow down? No. Is it this? this, isn't it? You are disgusted by it. <laughs> Come on, Ab. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up, but the Joel's still out there, you know? We can still make training. <laughs> you go ahead. What about you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hang out with the seals for a little while. Sorry. I told you already. Don't be sorry. Alrighty. Seattle day two, baby. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. Or is that a sunset? Before someone sees us. Yeah, it's a sunset. Okay. Can I talk you out of this? No. We don't know what happened. I gotta find him. I mean, if you really killed Danny. Fuck Danny. I'm jealous Owen got to shoot him before I did. Whoa, Abby. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, leaving at sunset, back before morning, I guess her mentality is. But we we know that Mel ends up there as well, so obviously Mel's going to catch us on the way out. Trying to get busted? Come on. I do appreciate you helping me sneak out like this. 
How are you getting to the quarry? The highway? Can't. Too many patrols. I get spotted for sure. I'll rough it. Aquarium's due west of here. Keep following the sun, right? I'm coming with you. I've done this before. Not with this many scars in the area. Many. Please. All right. You know best. <laughs> you got the PS3 going on. Always with the PS3s. Do oh, so I get hold breath in this one as well as more health. Let's do yeah. Let's go this way. I'll eventually get more health as the ability to hold breath as well is pretty important for my sniping. Wow, one whole part. Incredible. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm exploring. Do you know someone's squatting here? What's this? My man. My lover. No. Whispering Spanish in my ear? <laughs> Oh no, I'm about to read some erotic- hey, That's private. Oh my god. This is your place? How many sex stands do you have in this QZ? Okay, perdón. No hablo inglés. I wanted to read that! I wanted to read that! Um... God damn it, Manny. I'm gonna have to- uh, I'm gonna have to read it back. And uh... And pause the the thing. It didn't let me. It didn't let me read it all. Did it block it out for for story reasons, or is it just because it's a sexy letter? All right, I read some of it. Unfortunately, guys, I don't get to recite you hey. the sexy the sexy letter. Thanks. For this. Yeah, and other stuff. You know, you're a good friend. <laughs> Come on, us. You know I can handle all these emotions. Man, he's squatting in the apartment building. Looks clear. Come on. Let's go. me luck. When you find him, don't hit him too hard. I'll do my best. Seriously, watch yourself out there. See ya. Okay, so Manny doesn't come with us, so when I was looking at, like, the four beds... Okay. Just follow the sunset. When I was looking at the, the four beds, it seems that it wasn't necessarily a fourth person, I guess. Maybe I just like kind of miscounted or one of them was just a bundle of something on the floor so didn't really uh, didn't really count as a fourth person. But there you go. Just Mel is gonna eventually go or maybe we'll find maybe Mel had the same idea to go after to go after Owen and we in, we encounter we encounter her another way. Ugh, what is that smell? I don't, I don't feel... Uh, actually, I got a decent amount of uh, pistol ammo, which is good. Just none for the hunting pistol. Okay. Interesting. Uh, 
Cool environment. Um, is there any reason to be in here? Just to climb out, I guess? Just to climb out, yeah. Interesting, interesting choice of uh, design. What if this is uh, Ellie and, and Dino? Or Tommy. Could be Tommy at this point. But we don't we don't know how far behind uh, Ellie is at this point. I actually don't know where they are. Yep, thank you. Well, let's see who's through here. Figures. I guess I'm going over that wall. We'll climb up this way. This way. Cool. It sounds like there's a goddamn war going on out over there. Another nice. coin. North Dakota. Nice. I'm gonna enter an infected apartment complex. Is that what we reckon is gonna happen? Cool. Jesus. My god. God damn. Oh, that's a great start. I love the f the I love the getting knocked down and being in like backwards prone and still being able to actually fight and like shoot. That's a re that's a really neat touch for like realism and and movement that I that I really like. But there we go. We've got our infected. Ooh. We get some we get some good like supplement. We get some good supplement drops whenever we whenever we find them. Which I uh, which I really appreciate. Open her up. Awesome. I wonder how many training manuals Abby has. All right, and crawl through there. Not before checking this out. 20! Jesus, there we go. See, we get... Ugh. I kind of want to keep going just so I can get more health, but then I kind of also want to save them because I'm going to get another training ma manual and I want to know <sighs> what that's going to be for because crafting shivs is going to be nice, but that's like the final one. Like, that's a, that's a long way away. Let's, like, save... Let's save them for now, see how we go. What the hell? May she guide you. Oh, I did not even that guide you right off a cliff. I saw the These freaks are in our text. backyard. Interesting. People legitimately going to the effort to make like street art out of just like chipping away at like the paint to reveal the exposed brick, which is awesome. That's so cool. Is that the way we're supposed to go? I think it is. Or is that the way we're supposed to go? I'm gonna check in here first. God damn. They just given up. There are like so many missed opportunities. If you do not look, you miss out on like, what, like how much I just picked up just then? Like basically like 50, 60 supplements? That's insane. 
Exploration is uh, even more important as Abbey just because of the sheer amount of supplements that you get. Even then, there's probably stuff that I've missed, I reckon. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, all of the infected getting attracted to the car noise is a great touch. That's a great touch. Why did that? I'm not having a good time with the pipe bomb, guys. I'm just not. I'm just not having a good time with the pipe bomb. It ha hasn't necessarily worked for me. Let's try this again, right? I'm not entirely psyched about the pipe bomb. The Molotov cocktail is so much better. The the cocktail is so much better because of just like the the range of the explosion, you know? But it does mean that I'm gonna at least try and use them more. It's just that I have to cut into my, my first aid kit. Um, crafting items, which is like a bit of a problem. It's just a bit of a problem. But it's alright. We, we're getting a decent amount of a decent amount of crafting parts. And I know that we'll have to be using those shivs on some clickers soon, but if we can like lure bigger groups in and just do pipe bombs instead, then I'm I'm perfectly happy with that. A lot of cool traversal opportunities through all of the all of the buildings if I wanted to sneak through it and do it that way, but I was like, nah. Let's make some noise. We like to make noise in this house. I have to find a workbench soon. Yeah, pick it up. Thank you. Cool. All right. Let's check out more. Game just has me on edge at the moment. Anyway, I'm stressed. I'm super curious as to when Mel comes in, so there, there's at least something I'm interested in, is how does Mel come into the picture? Whether she just somehow makes it to the aquarium on her own, while we have a huge struggle, or whether Mel decides to follow in her footsteps once uh, she hears about it from, from Manny. Like Manny will let slip that Abby went after Owen. Which is entirely possible. Alright, we got a safe here. There'll be a document somewhere, but should we do the thing where we listen out for the clicks? I swear it was there. Apparently not. Hmm. 
I'm going to look for a document because I'm not having as much luck <laughs> figuring uh, figuring that one out on my own. Let's have uh, let's have a look around and I'll see what I can uh, I'll see what I can find um, before we check out the before we check out the safe. Otherwise, I'll just kind of have to sit long, hard, and think about it. Oh, that's a good, good amount of weapon parts. Okay. There's got to be some safe instructions nearby. God damn it. Just stay out of my way. Should we use a shiv for this one? What the fuck? I know that they can, they have, um, I know that it was said that they have more advanced, like, capabilities of hearing you, but I, I just had the, I had the opportunity to shiv it and then it disappeared from me, which is, uh, which is unfortunate. That's a shame. Hopefully whatever's in the safe is worth me exploring, looking for the note. Although I'm not seeing anything. Was there... Okay. Is this the way to go then? I didn't think this would have been the way to go. I thought it would have been the other way. Or is this just how I get into... Oh, okay. This could just be how I get into... Oh. Jesus Christ, Abby. Um... Damn it, this might have been the way to go then. Baby, there's a shotgun. This will help. Yep. Double barrel comes loaded. <laughs> Don't make me use it right away. I'd rather just punch you the hell out because Abby's strong as hell. Jesus Christ, not wasting right. I'm not wasting my shotgun on runners. Oh cool. Yes. Nice. Awesome. So this wasn't the way to go. Confirmed. Now I just need a note that says, hey, safe code, baby. I mean the shotgun is certainly appreciated, but um, I came here looking for a safe code. So if you want to supply me with that information, otherwise it looks like I'm going to be playing the the guessing game to try and figure out what makes the what makes the best noise. Mm. Okay. Let me something here as well. Is that it? Just climb over here just for... just for a bottle? Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, hang on. I don't know. Just another bottle. Yep. Alright, in that case, uh, looks like I'm gonna be playing around with the safe for a while. So, I'll just, uh... Is there not, like, a back room? There's not, like, another way? Kind of just looks like we've, uh, we're just going for the, going for the safe. Unless there's, like, a number thing provided somewhere that I just can't, that isn't on, like, a note. Similar to how it's like, oh, the winning lottery numbers is how you'll get it. There might be... Something else. That'll give it away. It's not looking, it's not looking likely. Bunch of numbers up here, but I don't think this is going to be the numbers that we're after. Could you imagine though? It's like something to do with those. All right, let's try again. I got to listen out and focus. It doesn't make the same sound again. Like, it makes, like, this crunching sound. I don't think that's the sound I'm listening for. How did I get it that, that other time? It's definitely 68. Ninety six. Eighty nine. Got it, baby. Cool. Ooh, training manual. Maybe they, I, I guess with that other safe, I, don't, I never found a note about it, so maybe there's like particular safes where it's just like you kind of have to use your listening skills. Urban Warrior, close quarters combat training. Faster stealth kills, probably. Oh, the supplements are strong here. That's a good haul. Okay, let's have a look. 111. After killing an enemy with a strike for a short time, your next melee attack will also be a strike. Yes. Uh, improved health kits. Also, yes. Aim stability increase. Increase the speed of using a health kit and momentum lasts longer. Yeah, that's cool. So when you take someone out with a strike and then you get to just take out the next person. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I'm glad I saved my drugs to get those three straight away. That's a that's a good skill tree. Okay, now I can move on with my life. By climbing over everything the, the worst way possible. And getting stuck on things. Alright, let's leave. Let's move on. And by leave and move on, I mean ex continue to explore wherever we're wherever we're going. I got a scars logo. Truth is dead, but yo, you just keep coming back here. Can we just clean all this shit up? Oh damn! A lot of uh, a lot of flowers left with this. Like it's an altar. God damn! 
These people are these people are very passionate, huh? My prophet, I ask that you grant me you bring me. Perhaps what I ask is impossible, but I must ask, bless the wolves with your insight, with your wisdom, with your love, that they might renounce their selfish ways and lay down their arms. May you bring peace to this world. You want peace? Easy. Stay on your island. That's, uh, that's interesting. Everyone's prayers being added to the... My prophet, may you bring your children prosperity and strength that we might cleanse this world of its sickness and start anew. That's a big ask, dude. My prophet, may you grant the elders the wisdom to pair me with Edmund. Uh, he is strong and capable, tender and kind. I long to bear his children. Ooh, someone wants to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I'm gonna pray to get laid. My prophet, I wish to rejoin the hunts. May you grant my wish for a new steed, swift and strong, a new saddle, and a new bridle. She's not a genie, dude. <laughs> okay. Abby's commentary on this is incredible. My prophet, my wants are few, my needs are simple, but my hands are clumsy and I'm unable to contribute to the efforts of our visit village, mending, forging, building. I, I ask you grant me these abilities that I might be productive and respected. Okay, at least that was a practical request. Prophet, I am a good soldier. I have already freed two wolves in your name. I will send you many more. Please honor me by letting me live long enough to see your salvation spread across this land. Okay. Bit a uh, bit wild there, guys, with the with the requests, but uh, but sure. Abby will see to it that you get laid. To rest. <laughs> Fuck. Let me look through here, because there's two ways to go now. We can climb up on the wall to get over the other side, or we can look in here with an ominous red door. Jesus, okay. Uh -huh. Cam, thanks for the note. Appreciate it. Can't wait to see you again. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck guarding this Scar Prophet. I didn't tell you this, but on the last shift I talked to her. I asked her why is she doing this? Why doesn't she ask her people to lay down their arms? She started off with the usual Scar BS, how we need to go back to nature, talked a bunch about the reliance we have on machines, but then she said she doesn't want a war. That outbreak day was a wake-up call, but not all of us woke up, or something like that. It was just getting interesting when fucking Lewis walks in and gives me shit about talking to her, but when he started screaming at her, she just smiled back at him. Even when they moved her cells, and the other guards were calling her names and pushing her around, she just kept that calm smile. It was spooky. Everyone says she's crazy, but I'll tell you what. After hanging out with her, I get what she's saying. Don't get me wrong, I think her followers are fucking loons, but she has a way about her that draws you in. I hear rumblings that they want to move her to a more secure location. See you back home. Be careful. They have her. Isaac. Fuck. You turned a crazy person into a martyr. Damn. So the wolves actually got, like, they got her. They got the prophet. Well, that's why you've got this war going on. You've got their goddamn leader, right? And you're trying to just be like, yeah, this is fine. Ooh, holster, baby. Thank you. Nice. That's what we like to see. Is this the way to go though?
Uh, I don't have a melee weapon at the moment, so that's cool. Alright, cool. And now we can climb back up. Now we can go up here. There's also a ladder, which I didn't even see before. Okay. Oh, this is stronger. Crowbar's getting replaced. Just so I'm not full up on, on items so I can keep scavenging, I'll make some stuff. So we're getting some more resources, which is good. It's just ammo that we're uh, Losing my sunlight. we're lacking on a bit. Which way are we supposed to go? We've got... Yep. Nothing? This just looks like we had multiple ways to kind of get up here, I guess. Oop. But ultimately, there's only one way to go. Oh, we can drop down and crawl through there, actually, can't we? And then... Cool. Gotcha. Nice. Alright, let's go down and go through here. And see what happens. gonna be a shootout. Oh, there's infected. Yep. Check the other structures. Clear the path to Martyr's Gate. Ah, uh, there. Two on this side. And two on this side. I think it's two. Oh, yeah, you're not getting over there. Come on. Let's lie down in the grass together. Get a little, get a little intimate. I've got nothing on listen mode. These guys are quiet. My listen mode is obviously not as good as it was, but like even still I like Where? 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 Where?
Where am I? Where am I almost being seen? Is it someone? Aha! Uh -huh. Right there. This is. This is going to. This is going to make noise. But they're right there. Oh. Dude, that's that that sucks. Oh, there's multiple. Okay. I crafted that silencer for nothing, after all. This sunlight, dude. They knew what they were. They knew what they were doing when they did this. Oh! Shot each other at the same time. I forgot that my hunting pistol has, um, a scope. Totally forgot my hunting pistol had a scope. That would have come in, that would have come in handy when I was trying to snipe this guy before. Where is this guy? There's got to be someone that's still sat in here, I think. There you are. Are we done? Cool. Ooh, nice little, nice little encounter there in the in the sunset where it's almost impossible to impossible to see. All right, let's explore this area now. Checking to see if there's anything, anything useful whatsoever. I miss playing as Ellie, guys. I miss Ellie. I want to know what the hell's going on with her. <coughs> but we have to, we have to wait. The sharpshooter was up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's where we'll be headed. I just need to explore everything around that area first, and then we can move on. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so we can climb up there and go in there. Alright. I reckon that last encounter, just to, you know, was a nice little end point into our, uh, into our little mission where we're sneaking away from the, sneaking away from the base and now, you know, under the cover of sun, of, uh, sunset where we're literally exposed and the scars have the advantage of being, uh, undercover. This is going to be a fun little, fun little uh, area to proceed in so guys i've had a had a great time playing this episode so far and uh, seeing how we're going uh still on day one of seattle playing as abby uh so i assume soon enough we'll be able to make our way through to the aquarium maybe it might take another day to get there even though it doesn't seem that far away um i just don't know how long abby has been at Abby and Mel and Owen have been at the aquarium before Ellie encounters them because Abby already left so I think what we could probably see is Seattle day two being Abby getting to the aquarium doing all of that stuff and maybe um, Mel arrives either shortly after or at the same time and then Seattle day three Abby leaves Ellie's on a trail sort of thing that's what i think could be potentially happening here so with that one guys i'm going to end this episode here and i'm going to continue on next time as we go through this building and uh, hopefully reach the aquarium to catch up with owen thank you so much for watching this one guys and i'll see you next time